Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We've got a new video for you today. I wanted to dive into something that I've heard some uh, some talk about recently, and I know there's been some videos. Honestly, I haven't even dove into the videos yet myself, but the question is, is, is Harbor Freight manufacturing the same 3 8 half inch, quarter inch drive wrench that Gear Wrench has been manufacturing for quite some time now? And specifically, it's the 90 tooth ratchet. And we'll get into the part numbers and where you can find them but I wanted to dive in, one, cosmetically, are they the same? But two, we're going to dive in and look at the mechanisms as well, and we're going to verify whether or not these are the same ratchet or whether they're not. So join with me now. We'll find it out. We'll jump through this as quick as we possibly can so you guys can be better educated on which ratchet you should buy based off of the facts. All right, guys. Let's dive in. So first up we have here is Gear Wrench. This ratchet has been around for quite some time now. It is a very smooth 90 tooth ratchet. Nice chrome polish. Nice little inlay there on and off. Got a good selector switch as well. There's a nice relief here in the hand. Uh, it's going to be a harder plastic here and then a nice rubber over molding that slides down underneath. Got some good pliability to it as well. Definitely soft. And then the gear wrench lettering itself is going to be that rubber over molding that is actually recessed as well. And then this little textured knob towards the end that's going to be rubber over mold as well as yes this inlay as well so everything yellow is plastic everything black is going to be that rubber over mold so it is current all the way through now part number on this ratchet is going to be 81208T and they do a good job doing the stamping on the head here on the stem and then it is also serviceable, which is why we're going to dive in and see what it is internally, how it looks, how it functions. But backtrack seems fairly decent. It's not the it's not the the absolute smoothest, but it's pretty good. So all in all, great wrench, and there's a lot of positive feedback about this wrench. And I get it. I've used it. I've had it for a while myself. These typically come in sets. I think I have like a 200 piece set or so that I run this one in does a great job. You could buy it individually as well. And we'll talk about prices here in just a minute. Next up, you got the Quinn. So Quinn 3 8 inch drive, low profile, sealed head, ratchet, lifetime warranty, part number 70585. This is found at Harbor Freight. And again, a 90 tooth gear with four degree arc swing. That's going to be the same for both of these. And it says it's got a sealed head. So we'll test that. We'll see how sealed that is inside and uh, whether they're telling us the truth or not. Harden Komali drive gear for added strength. Okay, all good stuff. Four degree arc swing, 90 tooth. Try me, you got it. And then we'll check on the back here. Now it's worth noting too, this gear wrench is made in Taiwan. And that's the same for this as well, for the Harbor Freight. This Quinn is made in Taiwan as well. All right, so put in these, let's put these side by side for this comparison. Head size is virtually the same. We'll measure that here in just a second. Selector switches are ever so slightly different. All right, this one's got a little bit more of a raised upper section, whereas this one's pretty smooth throughout. But the neck all the way down. Let's check the anvils. Make sure those are, those appear to be Very similar. Yeah, I'd say those are just the same. Now, when you put them side by side, you notice that the gear wrench is a little narrower down the middle. Actually, let's just touch it like so. It appears to be a little more narrowed and tapered off slower here. This one tends to come to a nub. So I think the grip starts a little bit earlier for the Quinn. And you put them directly side by side, ever so slightly. And the quid is ever so slightly longer as well. Now the quid is the same recess on the inside here. Gives your fingers a good place to lay down. The quid is actually fatter in that area. Whereas the gear wrench tends to give you a little bit more relief. Now the quid is a rubber overmold as well. Everything black is rubber overmold. Everything blue and white. It's going to be plastic. So all in all, much the same. 
and they both have the same retention underneath with that snap ring. All right, so let's do a quick couple measurements here real quick. I want to see, just to make sure, how dead on these are going to be. So head width, 3205, 31.54, very close. Let's do the thickness. Eleven eighty nine versus twelve oh four. So really close in that regard. And right here, eleven forty six versus eleven forty one. So actually these are actually the same going down the neck. Yeah. Okay. Those are dimensions. Let's now crack this open. We'll take a look on the inside and verify whether or not these are the exact same. Hang tight. All right, let's go ahead and pop these open. Nice little cover here. Set off, got some grease in there. That's a good sign. And nice little cover here. Nothing super thick, but it is a harder metal. You could feel it. It's got density to it. So not bad at all. All right, you guys are watching the same time as I am. Let's take a look. Okay, there's your two poles. Well, in customary Harbor Freight fashion, not that Harbor Freight manufactures this, but it's virtually dry inside of here. Whereas if you're looking at the gear wrench, it's very well lubed. So they've done a good job. Let's take a look. I'm going to clean off that pole because I want to read what it says on there real quick. Okay, we're going to zoom this in for you guys a little bit. Hmm. They are super close. So even the anvil has the same O-ring right here on both of those. The Pauls look to be the same, but the selectors have a different groove in them. The Pauls have slightly different lettering. Let's see if we can take them out real quick. and see. Man, that is almost completely dry. No excuse for that. All right. We're taking both of these out so you guys could see for yourself what both the anvils and the poles look like. All right, Paul for Paul. You guys take a look here. They say the same. They look virtually the same. We'll stack them on top of each other real quick. Let's see. Yeah. Your image. Let's check the depth of them as well. So same thickness. And I mean come on guys, these are looking They're carbon copies. Those are identical. Okay. Let's take now a look. At the anvils, ooh, ever so slightly different. They managed to machine out the gear wrench a little bit more on the backside to allow it to maybe have a little bit less mass in there. They changed the design too of this radius. This has got a little bit deeper radius. You stack them side to side, yeah. As far as the teeth go, they are meshing up just fine on there. We'll put them back to back. Those are the same.
yeah, other than having a little bit more of a, a chamfer to the edge on the gear wrench, they are the same. The gear wrench may have also a slightly bigger trough in there versus the Quinn. The Quinn's not as uh, not as deep or as wide, but I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. These are these are going to be very identical, guys. Very similar, very minute differences. Let's look deep inside the heads here and see. Let's look inside these heads and we'll see how that looks. Yeah, those look almost exactly the same. Let's see how inside looks. The both rest inside are the same. Yeah. Those are very, very similar. And the selector switches. They appear to have an O-ring on the back side too. Yeah. Yeah, and they probably use a different oil. If you look right here, that's like a white paste. Whereas this is definitely more of a grease, a different grease. So I th I'm going to go on a limb and say they did a better job, slightly better job with the gear wrench as far as that type of quality goes. So are they the same? I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, yes, these are made in the same factory. Parts may have been updated to change slightly for the internals. Uh, right, that selector switch is slightly different, probably because Quinn wanted it to be slightly different or they couldn't copy exactly what gear wrench has. But this is exactly the same dimensionally. I mean, it's very small differences, which is easy to do in the manufacturing process. So same manufacturer, slightly different take on the grips and on part of the head design where they stamp it, but all stuff that is just not pertinent to its overall quality. So that being said... Uh, you can buy Gear Wrench a lot of places. Napa, Home Depot, you name it, anywhere online, you can find this wrench. Now, this wrench averages about $39 if you buy it retail. Buy it in a set, you get a much better deal with sockets, whatever. But $39. Bucks. You buy this separate, you can also buy it in a set too. Currently, is $24. Bucks. You could also, the nice thing about Harbor Freight is they typically have sales. And I think just this last week, there's like a 30% off sale when I went and got this. So even less than 24 bucks. But the great thing is, um, either one has a great warranty process. You send this, a picture of this in, uh, they'll warranty it for you. But Harbor Freight has an even quicker warranty process. And as long as there's one on the shelf and this breaks down, you get a new one instantly. So I hate to say go to Harbor Freight for something that they've obviously once again knocked off. It appears Gear Inch substitutes this out to another manufacturer and that same manufacturer is building it now for Harbor Freight. So how they managed to do that for the Quinn lineup, I'm not exactly sure, but it's there guys. So your choice, if you're a Gear Inch fan, I get it, stick with your Gear Inch. But guess what? Harbor Freight is making the exact same wrench in their own version over at Harbor Freight. So. Quinn lovers, be happy. It's the same wrench. Do you think I'm wrong? Are they not the same? I'd love to hear your thoughts either way. And if you guys haven't done already, please click the button below and subscribe and give a thumbs up. All that helps this channel grow. And we'll talk to you guys soon.